What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, last video, my mic wasn't working, and that led to a pretty bad video. Even though the time lapses were pretty cool, it's not really cool when it's just the time lapses. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda explain my world, how it is, kind of like how episode one is. Um, you know, I created the world, um, and then after I got made like some progress, um, I started making videos on it. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing now. It's kind of just pouring my world. Okay. Um, so in order to make the thumbnail of the last video, I had to make this forest. Um, this is what you see now. Um, it actually doesn't look as cool in the thumbnail just because these higher trees up here kind of block back here, which kind of ruined the thumbnail, but it still looked good. Um, I liked my idea that I had, just didn't look cooler in my head. Um, why you see bamboo here, um, is actually because I found some stuff over there. I found mangrove, was it forest or jungle? I don't know what they call it. And then I also found a jungle biome, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, mangrove uh, biomes are very rare. Or they're quite rare. You don't really find them early game that often. And I'm I'm running low on coal, and coal is just kind of annoying to get. And bamboo acts as another way to smelt stuff. So instead of using coal to you know cook my food, uh, cook my iron. Well, I guess it'd be smelting your iron. Uh, you know I can I, I can use bamboo. So I'm kind of, this is kind of what I've done here. Set up a little bamboo farm. And if you look to my inventory, you see a lot of wood. And from that last episode, oh, jeez, um, I've got a lot of wood. And I didn't have this birch last episode because there's no birch here. But there's like one, well, there's like one birch tree here. And then from that saplings, you know, I gathered more saplings from, you know, getting trees. And I made this little birch farm, you know, got a ton of birch. Um, I have more birch than any other wood because I just kind of... So I got enough wood to build, which is probably going to be episode 5, but now we get to explore, um, we get to explore the world, which is pretty cool. Okay, so you've probably seen it before, but uh, it's, it's hard, like, I, I make the clips, but then, you know, my voice sounds all weird or something like that, but this is my house, this is inside, I got the chests over there. I got the enchantment table, you know, I'm still, nobody put in the comments what I should put here, uh, maybe I move my chests from there to there, um, yeah, but currently this is kind of all the good stuff that I have, you might see this and be like, what, I don't know why I put it there, but it's got decent enchantments, uh, got a bunch of diamonds, I still have a good amount of iron, but I used to have a lot more, I used to have over two stacks, um, I still have my iron gear, for fighting blazes, but I still die one shot to wither skeletons, um, which makes getting blaze rods really hard. But you know, I've died a couple times and gotten five blaze rods, which you know I've spent like ten minutes on. I could get actually, you only really need six to go to the end. Though that's, I'm probably gonna get more. I'm probably gonna get like eight or so, and then probably more for. Uh, making potions and stuff, but yeah, th this is the stuff that I have at my house. Um, oh yeah, and then also I got my cow farm, um, and my wheat farm to breed the cows. Um, this is how I get my my beef, and then I got the mine down there. Which let me know in the comments if you want to see how long that is, because I don't think I put it in a video, but it's. In length, it's over 250 blocks. In fact, it became so long that it would, like, cost me so much hunger just to run to the other side. So, now I'm making it more wider, so instead of just one little run way or whatever, I don't know, one little row. Now, now I'm making a second row. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess nether travel's easier, so we'll go there. Um, hmm. Actually, no, you guys already- in the first episode, there's a village that way that you can see, um, oh yes, um, sometime, uh, I was exploring my map a little bit more, there's some holes in it, um, so basically, I explored the bottom section, because I've not explored that yet, because it's just ocean, but while exploring the corners, you can see tips of stuff, so over there is a pretty cool village, 
but there's not much there. It, it, it's a village, and that's about it. Um, what is it? It's like Plains Village. But it's like, it's like cliffside, so there's like a little, little cliff there, which is pretty cool. But over here is what I'm going to show you now. Yeah, so I'm going to hop in my boat and go to the bottom left corner, or like that way. Um, which I think in the future I'm going to get some compasses, you know, and I have the paper of the sugarcane to make paper. And I'm going to make like a big map just so you guys, I can point out things a lot easier because I would like to go into spectator mode to do this stuff, but I just feel like that's somewhat cheating. You guys might think that's cheating. I don't think spectator mode is cheating if you're trying to get shots, um, but let me know if you think spectator mode is cheating. Spectator mode is basically like you can't grab blocks, you can't like duplicate blocks, you know, you can't do any of that stuff, you can't even break blocks, you can't place blocks, it's basically like you're a ghost, and it would, it would make my videos a lot cooler, so like if I'm building something, I can get like a, what is it, like a bird view angle of me making my, my, uh, my house a little bit bigger, which I think would be pretty cool, but some people consider it cheating, as if you do go underground, you can see caves and stuff, where caves are, I'm not gonna cheat that though. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Like, that that's pointless to me. I'm trying to make Minecraft a challenge, and it already is a huge challenge for me. I, I've never beaten the game in my life in a full survival world. I've beaten it with, like, you know, you go into creative on your iPad, and you got your, like, full netherite armor, um, stuff like that. And I could beat the Ender Dragon right now, you know, if I went to creative and stuff, but I've never done it in a full survival world. So, this is kind of what the series is going to be, is, my goal is going to be this series is the first time I'm going to beat the Ender Dragon. So, subscribe to stick around to, to see that, because, you know, <laughs> sure, I'm a noob, but um, you get to see me get better, I guess. We're getting pretty close now. And this spot's really cool. You know, I filled in the map, but I kind of wanted to go a little bit further, because I saw the tip of there, and I was just like, who knows, I might find something. I was bored, you know, I stopped recording and stuff. And I found this. Yeah, over there, you got, like, flat flat rocks, like, really nice cliffs. Over there, you got a jungle. But what I really like about this place is the mangrove forest. I found it so few times that I literally know how many times I've found it in a world. And I'm including, like, creative worlds, um, but I'm not including, like, stuff where I, you know, do slash locate mangrove forest or whatever, you know. Uh, but I am counting like I spawn in a creative world to build something, I don't know, and then I find this. Um, and I've only found it three times. It's quite rare. And the thing about it is it's not really that rare, but, and it's a lot easier to find it endgame with like Elytras, you know, which is basically, if you don't play Minecraft, it's like a, a tool you use to fly, basically, which you could imagine it's a lot easier to explore while flying and not boating around. It's a lot quicker, too. Um, but yeah, mangrove forests are pretty rare, um, and then they got a new wood type, which I'm able to use. It's kind of like, hmm, I don't know how to explain, I would have to show you, uh, you guys. Uh, so yeah, oh, here's the wood. So, it kind of looks like oak from here, but if you see, if you mine it, you get little red particles. And that's because when you mine it, you got this little red inside, which is pretty cool. And then also when you strip it, you got that red... Actually, that sounds pretty stuff. So, um, but when you strip it, you get this little red, which is cool because my favorite color is red. Um, so I think I'm gonna use that in the future. I'm just not I'm not great at building, so it, it I, I'm just not sure when I'm gonna build it. I'm also having a hard time with the house, like the house that I'm making right now. I'm not really sure how to expand it upwards. Like I can only think of ways to expand it below ground, which you know things look cooler when it's above ground. So I don't know, I think I might actually make a separate base somewhere else, like maybe by these cliffs. Though, I will say that the mangrove forest looks a little bit ugly to live next to. But let, let me know, Where, like, if I should make a new house, should I expand upwards, or should I just stay in that house and, you know, go underground? Yeah, let me know in the comments. Also, you might have watched this series, I think it's the second episode when I did it, but I said that you dude was gonna come into my survival world and play with me for like one episode, and it just never happened. He had technical issues where Minecraft just wouldn't launch on his computer. Um, I, I don't really want to say anything else in case he doesn't want me to share it. Um, though he is revealed his face and stuff, so I bet he's less like me. Uh, 
keeping things more private. But, um, yeah, he's having some tech issues, still trying to solve it, um, but soon. I, I'm, I'm thinking, um, yeah, pretty soon. I, I'm thinking, uh, probably in the month of May that we will do this. Um, yeah, so, again, stick around. Um, hopefully that'll happen soon for you guys.